if you miss cocktails and conversation, this is what you miss. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Ryan Lamar. We ready for another episode of Cocktails and Conversation? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready for another episode of the Cocktails and Conversations? Word. So, I'm glad y'all could join me. Um, this week's cocktail is the Apple Martini. It's a classic phase. Everybody's had one. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Come on in. Get ready to watch. Because we're going to be live at 5. It's not 5, it's 7. <laughs> but we're going to be live. Mm -hmm. It's your boy, Ryan Lamar. Trust me, you don't want to miss the show we got planned today. Yanni. Ooh, yay. Hey, Yanni. Hey, 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 hey. Yanai. Yanai. Hi. Okay, if everybody don't know, she's one of the nominees. Okay, well, anyway, we're ahead of, ahead of schedule. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cocktails and Conversations. I am your host, the infamous Ryan Lamar, in my Ryan Lamar. Always got a drip. Hmm. Shout out to the boutique. I'll put the tags and stuff when I post this video. I'll put the tags of where I got these from and where you can get this from, too. Mm. And like I said, tonight's drink is the apple martini. So what I'm going to do is start doing that while everybody else funnels in, okay? You might not drink an apple martini, but go get you something to drink. Some apple juice, you know, or apple cranberry juice, whatever. Mm -hmm. Get my martini glass. It's a good green. Mm -hmm. And the apple martini um, calls for vodka, right? Just a regular vodka. I chose to use the Smirnoff Green Apple Vodka. Just give it a little extra pucker, you know. I like the flavor of al uh, apple. Um, and I'm going to mix it in my shake cup. You know, I love everything copper. That's my earth metal. But, mm -hmm. but I just have to get my ice cubes, my seven ice cubes. I don't know why my number is seven, but seven is my number. One sec. We're ready. Let me get my... <sighs> Up to that on my seven ice cubes, and then it says two well, one and a half ounces of vodka. So we're gonna put these in here. Let's see how that works. Okay, I think I'm gonna do two instead of one and a half mm -hmm. for your own troubles. Don't judge me, pray for me. Okay. Now I need my apple pucker. I've already pre-measured. Thank you, Martha Stewart. Mm-hmm. Pouring that in there. Mm-hmm. And then you need some apple juice. Already pre-measured. Thank you, Martha Stewart. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then you need some lemon juice. So a fourth of a cup of lemon juice. Already pre-measured. Thank you, Martha Stewart. I don't know why I always say thank you, Martha Stewart. Like, she created the pre-measured pork cup. I mean, everybody does it. Rachel Way, everybody does it. And you pop that top on there. And you will want to shake it. Shake it, not stud. See if I can get this thing open. Oh, there we go. There we go. Pour this in the glass. That looks good already. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Now you're supposed to have an apple slice too, but. Apples do the worst to my gut, okay? So we're not going to be doing that. Okay, I already got apple juice. All right, so as we do every episode, we inhale, we exhale, and we cocktail. We do so to let go of the stress from the week that we just had, okay? And get ready for the week we're about to have because affirmations are where it's at, okay? So we're going to inhale, exhale, whoo, Lord Jesus. And then cocktail, okay? Mm. 
Oh my God, that's good. The apple martini has always been one of my favorites. Mm. Okay, so I felt like this time we didn't need a specific topic. I just wanted to get into some celebrity gossip and to catch up on some old things. Like be one-on-one -on -one with y'all because y'all are my people. This is where I come to get my counsel. And this is where I let off my steam. I talk about my week. Um, I'm going to let you see my eyes a minute. No, no, nothing's on my eyes. I don't have a black eye. Nobody's beat me up. No, none of that. I just, you know, oh, mm -hmm. I'm feeling these glasses. Don't worry. I'm going to put the link in the description when I post the video. But, yeah, it's just been a lot of stuff going on since we last spoke. Like, if you're ready, I'm ready. If you're ready, I'm ready. And you know the first thing I want to talk about. You already know the first thing I want to talk about. But before we get into that, I really want to take this show and kind of do it like an homage to Wendy Williams or what have you because she is no longer. Her show is going to be canceled, baby. Sherry Shepard might be getting her own show. We don't know, but, you know, she's going to be gone, okay? Ain't no more cue cards pulled out, no wigs, no more. Ain't no more, how you doing, okay? Because it's going to be retired. She's going to be gone. So I'm going to do this Hot Topics episode in honor of our sister, Wendy Williams, and I'll drink to that. And no shade. The color of the drink has nothing to do with the time she passed out, okay? Nothing. That was not intentional, okay? No shade. Woo! The first thing I did want to talk about is the Jesse Smollett situation. So did he lie or didn't he lie? Because I'm confused. <laughs> As if the verdict already wasn't enough. The sentencing took, like, how long? Five hours? Something like that? Like... Why do we have to hear a soliloquy before you do the sentencing? I mean, it's already point proven, okay, that there was falsities and there was a misuse of police force and all of that. We get it. But why the four and five hours, honey? Like, can we eat? Can you get an intermission? Can you provide some lunch? You know. Anyway, he, he got accused of five of the six uh, disorderly conduct charges. But he also has to do 150 days behind bars. I mean, I don't, <laughs> being behind bars is not somewhere I choose to be, baby. That's not somewhere I'm going to be. That's what, not where I want to be, blah, blah, blah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Woo, Lord. Um, just so you know, as a little segue, a little sidebar, you know today is the final day for me to announce who is going to get this dress or get this suit. And I got a little surprise for y'all because it was a little twist. It was interesting how the nominees went. But anyway, let's get back to it. So the celebrity gossip, the news, the news. Did he lie or did he not? Did he? Because the outburst is what I'm here to talk about. Where did this outburst come from? <laughs> Still maintaining your innocence. Now, I ain't going to say that I'm going to eat crow if something happened like Wendy Williams said. You know, like she said she would eat crow if Kim K lasted longer than the previous marriage of 72 days or whatever it was. I ain't gonna say I'm gonna eat no crow. I'm gonna say, uh, I'll let you say I told you so. That's about it, baby. But from here, from where I sit, from where I see, that I just, I just, I'm just like, would the judge have ever given a five hour soliloquy, four hour soliloquy, whichever one it was, would they have ever given a soliloquy that long to someone who wasn't that skin color? I don't know. I'm just saying, putting it out there. That's just my perspective. I don't know. But the next thing is just as equally appalling, you know. And I'm going to have to take my glasses off for this one. Because I'm like, I thought that once you become the picture of affluence, that things could, should, would change in your favor. But apparently not. Because you could be a whole billion dollar movie director and just because you got on a, 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 a hoodie and some glasses and you're African American with kinky hair display beard and all track suit whatever you're perceived as a robber taking money out of your own account I mean <laughs> I'm just baffled by the whole thing because when you go to a bank to get money out don't you have to swipe your card or at least put in an identification number so if, and then if you see the amount of money he got in there and the amount he's taking out ain't depleting the whole account. I mean, I'm lost. I'm just, 
I'm lost. If you, if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Ryan Coogler. He's the director of Black Panther. You know what I'm talking about. Everybody's seen that movie. And I'm sure one of the first things you see when you see that credit roll is his name. If you didn't know the, the actual physical person. But he was in he was in a bank that he banks at, okay? His account is with this bank. He's in this bank trying to take out a sizable portion of cash, okay? It, it is more than the <laughs> than the legal limit without flagging, you know, um, the feds. But he was he was taken outside and Frisk sat in the car the whole nine. Like, but he was so chill though. He was so. If, if ever there's a lesson in keeping your cool, even when you know you're right in the sight of adversity, that was it. Because baby, he was he was chill. You know, because me, myself, personally, I probably wouldn't have been so chill. I probably would have been irate. Knowing me, I probably would have been really irate in my mind. I probably wouldn't have said nothing. Because I ain't going to jail for nobody. You're not going to put me to jail? Why would you want to do that? I don't even... But I drink to that, too. I mean, we see that you don't want us to be great. And even after you do be great, it's still a challenge for you to swallow. Don't worry about it. We're still going to be great. <laughs> Speaking of being great, what about this girl? What's her name? Amarillo the Great? I think that I'm um, Amarillo, whatever her name is, the great girl. With this song, You Ain't Atlanta or That Ain't Atlanta. How? So, just because your city or your mailing address says Atlanta, that's the only thing you think qualifies people to be from Atlanta? Okay, who made you? I don't care. It's, period. I don't care. Why do we have to keep hearing this godforsaken song? Who wrote it? Somebody in elementary school? Because, <laughs> I mean, I'm from Atlanta, but, I mean, I guess technically not because I'm, I was born in Decatur. I mean, I was raised in Decatur. I don't, huh? Whatever, little girl. Moving right along. Did you hear about Chris Brown? Ooh, girl. Did you hear about Chris Brown? <laughs> Did you hear about the boy Chris? He must be putting it down because the girl claimed that he was, he, he raped her. He, like, he drugged her, like, and took advantage of her, right? <laughs> but apparently he gave his attorneys some explicit text messages that this woman was saying. Come to find out you damn near stalking him. Cause you want some more of it. Oh, I just want some more. Don't do me like that. You know, just after you was just on the phone, sending lewd pictures and everything. It's gonna be like Cardi B, honey. Wake up and see your news on the gram. Ooh. So the whole time, you capping hard. Like this man done did the worst. Even when you know the kind of times we in. Okay, we got Bill Cosby. We got R. Kelly. We got uh, Harvey Weinstein. We got a bunch of people out here that's up through there because of some indiscretions. So, why would you do that? You need a VA. Should have had a, oop, should have had a VA. Oop, just like that. Should have had a VA. I hope they bring charges on her. Clearly. And I'll drink to that, to the charging of the liar. Why you gotta, ooh. That's unnecessary. Totally unnecessary. What about Oh my God, I am so tired of the Kim Kardashian and the Kanye fiasco. I'm just tired of it. Get divorced already. Like normal people, in the silence. We know it's going to be a bunch of money. Come to find out, it's not even going to be a bunch of money divided because they had prenups. So what they both made, they both keep. It's not even a bunch of dividing money. It is dividing property and them kids, which is going to be the ugly part of it, but... I don't want to see that either. I don't want to see a bunch of kids dragged through the courts because their parents is fighting over who going to get who so who can get whatever money. I don't really <laughs> understand the need to put that in the forefront. I don't have kids, but if I did have kids, I wouldn't want my kids to be put on the public eye like that. Again, not the kid, okay? Period. If it's you, okay. But that ain't me. It just ain't me. Whatever. Um, if you follow me along, if you're still here, give me a thumbs up so I can make sure you're paying attention, okay? Because I am moving kind of fast. I don't know if today's going to be a full hour or not, but 
All I wanted to do was just come on here and give you some hot topics, okay? Let me take this, let me take this patchwork leather jacket off with the fringe and the sleeves. You see that detail? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Barrington, the model who shot this in a photo shoot. At this point in the show where I'm going to do some talking about the prom giveaway, I'm sure you guys have seen the prom giveaway posted around everywhere. I had it sponsored so that it would be in circulation to reach more people than I personally know or that people who are connected to me personally know. Um, the reason I decided to give a prom dress or suit away is because typically prom is like one of the final moments of senior year if not junior and senior year, that are the most memorable of your whole high school and school career, I'll say. Because you're in there so long. So this is like the pinnacle of all of that before you graduate. At least for me, when I did prom, it was <laughs> literally the last week of school and then we had prom that weekend and the only thing I had left to do was graduation rehearsal. So I'm like, for the last couple of years with this pandemic, nobody's been able to really do that. I mean, we had some people making their own kind of prom vibes, getting party buses with a couple of their girlfriends and walking around the mall with masks on in their dress. Like, to me, that's not a prom. But I mean, hey, if that, if that, if that makes you feel like you got a prom, okay, it makes you feel like you got a prom. But for me, that wasn't a prom. But also for business, like it completely cut that side of my design business out. So I'm like, Everybody's suffering a loss. I mean, I still make wedding dresses. I still, you know, do custom pieces. I still do boutique placement. But I haven't done prom dresses in a while. And I love doing evening gowns. And for people who love evening gowns. Ugh. And people who always tell me, oh, my God, I want this, but I want you to do your own thing. Put your own spin. Give me your own twang. Mm -hmm. Those are my favorites. Because I get to really, like, dive in. Ooh, I'm about to dive in. Yes, Trey, give it to me. The reason I decided to give a dress away is because now they're going back to prom. And sometimes, even though the stimmies and stuff been out and the PPPs and all that stuff been out, it's been a little challenging, at least from people that I've heard of who are vehemently looking for dresses. Also, it may just feel good for me to just do what I love for somebody who appreciates what I do. So I decided to give away a suit or a dress. And there was a couple of steps that had to be followed and all of that for um, the nominees to qualify. And the response I got was good, but completely different than what I expected. <laughs> so I not only have a prom dress giveaway, I have a competition for a catalog gown giveaway. Let me tell you how. Okay. Let me catch a drink for this, okay? Because I got a drink. I got a drink for this, okay? Because this was, this was baffling to me. And I loved it every minute of it, okay? Let's talk about the catalog gown giveaway. This happened because I had... Okay, so for the first nominee, um, her Instagram handle is Peanut Mission Angel. Hey, Angel. I see you in church. Praise the Lord. Pray for me, okay? Mm-hmm. Pray for me. Thank you. I got about... 15 or 20 people sending me messages about this young lady saying that she's God-fearing, that she's a sweet soul, she's giving of self, she asks for nothing, she is fabulous, she does this, that, the fact she was a, a, all of these accolades. And I'm just like, who is this person? And then I go to her Instagram page and I'm like, mommy is cooking and she serves the Lord and unapologetically. Period. And if you know me, baby, you know I give a good praise to the most high all the time. But anyway, so, <laughs> but I started looking and I'm like, er, is this her? Is this her daughter? It looks like her daughter is about the age to be in the prom, but I think she might be older than prom age. She might have already graduated or something. I don't know, but I'm like, what's happening? Okay, so then I got... The prom dress people, you know, the, the people who are of high school age, get ready to go to prom, looking for prom dresses, blah, blah, blah. Then I got this other young lady who people just kept saying to me, oh, you need to see her walk. Oh, my God, she kills this runway. Oh, my God, she does this cute little video thing. I'm like, okay, wait. So let me go see who this is. Okay, I go to her Instagram page. 
And I'm just like, okay. Mama got a serious walk on her. <laughs> and these videos are cute. What am I to do? All these people want to see them in my stuff. What am I to do but oblige, okay? So, again, when I post this video, I'll, I'll tag them so you can see them. And if either one of you are still on and want to speak really quickly, you feel free to call right in real quick and speak with us. But what's going to happen now is we're going to have two people to vote on <laughs> for this catalog gown giveaway. I'm going to post their pictures. I've already asked both of them to send me postable pictures. If I haven't, there's your asking. Can you send me a postable picture of yourself so that I can put it on the catalog profile and on our next show, we'll see who won. That's 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 two weeks away. Mm -hmm. We'll see who wins. All you have to do is send people to the post. I'll even put it on my website so that you can have people vote and it'll be kept in a registry so that there will be no fraudulent moments, no, well, you only gave it to her because you like her. No, because I don't know either one of these people. Okay? But That'll be for a catalog gown giveaway. Um, and we'll document the whole process. I'll take you guys along with me through the whole process. If you are here still and you hear me, you understand what I'm saying, and you are in agreement, you're going to vote with me. I need another thumbs up. Just one more thumbs up to make sure you are still here. And I'll drink while I wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's talk about the prom dress part. Until we get one of our... Um, catalog gown giveaway contestants to call in. It may, it may not be this time. It might be next time that you actually see them. Because, I mean, they didn't know that they were going to do this anyway. Because I didn't tell anybody. Because I was still sitting back like, God, what am I supposed to do about this now? And I got the message. If the people want to see the cake that you present, let them eat cake. Okay? Let them eat it. Give it to them and don't be apologetic. Mm. Meanwhile, do you see this headline? Ooh. Ooh. Shout out to being the barber. That's my barber. Lord, I've been searching for a barber. It's been so difficult to find a barber. So difficult to find a barber. But I got one. He does facials. You see, my skin is getting even. He cleans his clippers. I don't have razor bumps. It's magical. I swear. Having the right people is magical. But again, I need you to give me a thumbs up if you're here and you understand that we're going to be voting for the catalog gown giveaway. That's where I give one, one garment to one of the lucky contestants on Instagram at Nola Dami or Peanut Mission Angel. Those are my two candidates for the catalog gown giveaway. Now, this prom dress winner, okay? There is no competition. There were not very many high school kids who were still in high school to be nominated for the gown giveaway. Except for this one young lady. And it came to me by way of one of my um, church members who, I mean, I knew had my contacts and everything, but I didn't know <laughs> she had access to all of my stuff like that. Like, I mean, I literally opened this up to any and everybody. Right, and it just so happened that it's right here in my own city. Her auntie goes to the same church that I go to, and I'm going to this church for 15 years or some crazy number like that. But that church is New Beginning. If you don't know, I always post about it. Don't worry about it. But um, this young lady just so happens to be <laughs> the perfect kind of candidate. I was looking for someone who was an above average teen that's exemplary to what I think a teen should be or should do because I don't know if you know but the way we were groomed back in the day you know go to school get a good education you'll get a good job you can work at that career forever you can retire at that same job blah 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 that time is that 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 time is over <laughs> that time is over if you don't know technology for the future you're gonna be left behind like so, <laughs> this young lady decided to do her own thing and to be self-sufficient completely. You know that's one after my own heart. I've been an entrepreneur my whole adult life. I've been a cosmetologist or a fashion designer or a makeup artist my whole adult life. <laughs> like, I was licensed at 19. So, for her to be doing her own thing and then being a relocator from 
a whole nother side of this same country and still balancing and moving and grooving, this young lady is more than deserving of a Ryan Lamar gown. Now, let's, before I announce her name, let's, let's entail what this actually means. This means I'm making a gown for this girl. She can have input on this gown as well. She can influence the gown in whatever way she wants because I definitely want her to want the gown and to wear the gown, but <laughs> I'm going to have so much fun making this gown. And especially because this girl is an entrepreneur. Anyway, the wait is over. Her name is Janai Willis. She definitely will be com communicating with us either tonight or in a couple weeks. Janai, if you're online, give me a thumbs up and hit that uh, call button. It looks like a person with an arrow. You can call right in and just speak if you want to. You can say congratulations. Your auntie can if she wants as well. But those are my nominees, okay? So we're going to be voting over the next two weeks. When you see posts, make sure you at whoever. Make sure you um, tag whoever because the voting is going to be quintessential. Okay, it's a numbers game when it comes to voting. Okay, I'm also going to be communicating with the nominees and the winner of the prom dress, Miss Yanai. Come on, Yanai, hey baby, come on, baby. Oh, we're gonna be dripping. Oh, they're gonna be hating. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta drink to that because, baby, the pressure we finna apply. Move out the way. Okay, just move. Okay, just move. Thank you. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I'm so excited. Y'all know I can't. Oh, oh, you're not. Hi. Everybody, this is your night. She's going to come on with us and speak really quickly. If I can get her on right quick, let me make sure she. There she Thank is. Thank you for showing me. <laughs> Girl. So, do you. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we get into that. Tell the people a little bit about you and what you do, what your business is like, real quick. Okay, so I'm 17 mm -hmm. from California, mm -hmm. and I sell homemade whipped body butters. Period. You see the skin glowing. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, tell them where they can find you. Um, at Yanile or Yanile Boutique on Instagram. Yes, tell them your, your best-selling product. Yes, give it to me. Ooh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay, so like I was about to ask you before, do you know what kind of gown you might want? Um, I'm looking at like an emerald green Ooh. ballerina kind of dress with some sparkles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know my birthstone is emerald green. This is going to be so great. Are you a Taurus? I definitely will be in communication with you. We'll have to get some sketches done. I have to get some measurements done. Where are okay. you in the city? Are you still here or are you in California? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm in Atlanta. Good. So where are you in Atlanta? What part of town? Um, Fulton. Fulton. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So um, when, when I get done, I'll make sure I give you my contact info and we'll go from there, okay? Okay. Oh, my God. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much for even <laughs> being great. I love you, okay? Thank you so much. No worries. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. You see what I mean? <laughs> She's a Taurus. I'm a Taurus. <laughs> and she wants our birthstone. Oh, my God. I'm going to go crazy when I say. Oh, I just can imagine it already. Ooh. Oh, before I get too excited about this dress, Lord Jesus, because that just got me on my edges. Like, ooh. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, you, don't, you know, I always do a mental health moment, right? But this time, I'm not doing a mental health moment, okay? Because this is a hot topics moment, and I'm not going down that route. But I stopped by to let you know. Just to let you know, since you are here, okay? I stopped by to let you know. That coming forward, we will have 
an LPC, baby. If you know what LPC is, that's a licensed practicing counselor, professional counselor. I'm sorry, licensed professional counselor. Let me get it right. Okay. She has been practicing for 13 plus years. Um, she approaches things holistically and has a, a very self-guided individual treatment kind of process. But she'll be joining us every time I do this show now as our mental health expert to give us one-on-one -on -one guidance for mental health, like all types of stuff. She delves into anxiety and depression and self-esteem issues, wellness, relationship building, chronic pain, coping with illnesses, like a, 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 a myriad of things, like <laughs> uh, maternal mental health. Like when women are pregnant, that brain goes all over the place. Yeah, oh, uh, oh, uh, wait, wait, pause. Faria Bill just said his birthday is May the 4th. Listen, me and you gonna have to do, okay, Faria, when we get up, when I get off, I'm gonna have to reach out to you too because I really wanna do, I'm doing a show, but I really wanna do it for like a birthday tribute to myself, but a completely misfits moment. I'll talk to you about it later. But anyway, um, she will be our go-to person, right? We will have contact info for her. We will um, see her live because mama like the camera. Give the mama the camera. Give her some room. Move. Give her room. Move. Give her room, okay? Please give her room. Um, but I'm excited about that. You see, the reason I stopped before was because I wanted it to be purposeful. Now I have reason for purpose to help people through mental health issues. Look at how the Lord worked. Oh, well, now it's about that time for our Lamar moment. And this one today for me is a very good one. I couldn't be any more ecstatic about the things to come. When you follow the path that is planned for you, it's already paved out. You just got to walk that path. You get these kind of moments. I didn't know why I was even giving away a promise. I would woke up out of my dreams thinking about giving the prom dress away. To me, that's divine intervention. It's telling me, it's showing me that I needed to do this, right? That this is something that I need to put on my path. So I did. Who would have known that I would have met a whole entrepreneur that's in high school doing her thing? I mean, and the natural way. A black girl. Talk about black girl magic. I mean, I'm just saying. It's, it's, it's something to know yourself. But it's another to follow your path. Because there's only one path for you. And that path is just for you and nobody else. So, I'll say to you and to that. Be yourself. Trust yourself. Be your most true self. 100% of the time. And unapologetically. You never know whose life you may actually change. Alright? So, you know how this goes. Every two weeks we do this show, okay? If you ever want to hear a specific topic, you ever want to see us discuss something specific, I mean, it could be all the way down to the nitty gritty. DM me. Post me. Tag me. Email me. Call my phone. Text me. People who got me. You know what I mean? Reach out to me because I'm definitely reaching each one, reach one, teach one. Reach out, baby. Reach out. Reach right on out. Just reach out. Okay? Also, make sure don't catch it here. Catch it the edited version on YouTube on Tuesday. If you ain't subscribed or like, make sure you go do that. I appreciate you. I love you for watching. Until next time.